What's up guys? It's me, Mullet Ben. Back to play some more Minecraft on Avocado SMP. There's not a whole lot defined that I want to get done today. I'm probably just gonna be puttering around and getting some stuff done. I I've played a little bit more and I actually installed Optifine so I can get the dynamic lights, so that means when I hold the torch you'll be able to see the light from it. And I installed some shaders, so shaders make it look really cool. So I might look at the world some with the shaders on and show you guys how the world looks. Maybe I'll practice some MLG water buckets or some speed bridging. I'd like to do speed bridging a little bit better so that I can clap those Bed Wars games. I was actually playing some Bed Wars before this, but didn't have enough space on my PC and the recording got lost but that's okay so right now i am at the multiple base that me and um halting badge made there's this cool room with some magma blocks that i made i made it out of Ooh, there's a creeper in there but i think it's pretty cool and I like I like the magma blocks, I like the dark oak wood, I like the vibe of this house. But I I was AFK at the gold farm for a while and I actually got some gold and I used it to just make golden apples because I figured why not and I just wanna like flex with the golden apples, you know. I also, uh, Yeti VT gave me a Sharpness 5 book, so I made this Sharpness 5 axe, which will be pretty nice. I'm going to check on the, um, the Melon and Pumpkin farm that Halt and Badge made. I helped a little bit, but I didn't help that much. It was mostly him. Actually, I really like his builds and how these buildings look. It's not doing so well. I haven't been here for a while, though, so I don't know. I, I really like how his builds look compared to mine but I'm probably going to go and turn some um, shaders on because I look super cool I mean the shaders don't look great with the snow because like it doesn't really bring in the full vibe but Still looks really cool. I have BSL shaders. I was just looking at how to install them and I thought that they were pretty cool. But it's just I think there's it just makes the world look a lot better and like you'll see if I take this torch and hold it, you can actually see the light from the torch, which is super nice. Unfortunately I will not be able to use this opt these shaders on my um snapshots world because it's um th there isn't a version of optifine for that yet so that won't work but it's still cool and i really like it i like how there's the shadow i like how there's the um sun looks cool i like how like this grass if you look at it They'll sway in the wind. I think that looks super cool. And I mean, my FPS is lower than it would normally be, but it doesn't really affect performance that much overall just because it's, the. I mean, in Minecraft, you don't need super high FPS. You can have pretty low FPS, and it still is fine. So... I'm gonna maybe see um make a really tall tower and see how my MLGs are, my water bucket MLGs. Because I that's something I wanna practice more because I think it's cool. And I mean it doesn't really matter what height, but my fish my little fish friend that I trapped in the bucket
The other thing I want to practice for when I'm doing Ender Dragon fights, so I get flung up against the killer. I want to be able to kind of jump against it and, like, catch myself with a block on the pillar. And I'm, I've seen some other YouTubers do that. I mean, other YouTubers that aren't myself. I think it's pretty cool. I don't know how they do it. As you can see, the shaders are looking super mega cool. I mean, just look at this. Everything, just all the light sources just glow. I think it's just really cool. Because it just, it's just, I mean, of course, Minecraft is a block game and you don't need it to be realistic but I think it's still cool to have some realism in it and to have some um, some more real life feel like the look at this shadow it's cool Okay, the next thing on my list that I want to get good at would probably be um, speed bridging. Because I think it's be cool to speed bridge, and of course I play on the Hive, because I'm permanent on the Hypixel. But you can see I'm pretty okay at it. I have been practicing some, like, and not filming it. I think it's definitely faster than, like, I mean, there I just fell because I wasn't paying attention, but I think it's, it's, def it's definitely faster than the, um, just taking your blocks, holding shift and S and just holding it down. idea behind it is that you go out of shift and then shift before you hit the end of the block so you don't fall off. Because if you didn't hit shift, you'd just fall. So. Okay, let's try this again. Sharpness 5x is pretty nice. I do have a sharpness 5 um, netherite axe. Poor guy doesn't know what to do. He doesn't even know where I am. Never stood a chance. Uh, I think I'm decent at speed bridging. One thing that would be really cool would be to be able to um, breezy bridge. And breezy bridging is is like it's it's a version of walk bridging where you don't have to you don't hold shift at all. You just oh, I'm failing. I'm I'm doing something weird with my keys, but you just you just kind of go S and then A and D to go to the sides, and that slows you down enough that you can do it. And I cannot do that at all. I mean, maybe I'll practice some more, but that would be cool. I mean, there's a couple of things that I. armor buddy they're all getting hit by my thorns the thorns on my perfect set of armor if you haven't seen the perfect set of armor video I would go and watch that one because it's pretty cool I mean it's overall I'll be honest it's pretty boring but
it's a um it's good and it shows like what you need to do to make a good set of armor I'm gonna blow his friends up. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, creepies. Oh. Kill this spider with entirely snowballs. I don't know how much damage snowballs do. Well, actually, do snowballs do snowballs even do damage anymore? I don't think snowballs do do damage anymore because I think it made them too um, too good. Because it's something that was easy to get, like arrows you have to craft. Huh. But snowballs, it's just a shovel and you have a projectile weapon, so. Okay. Nice armor, buddy. I want it. You're being annoying. So weird to go on this um, server with my friends after being on my single player world. Cause my single player world, it's just my single player world. I have nothing, and it's just kind of just like I don't have any armor. I can die easily. Two shot, Mister. Yeah, I'm gonna sleep through this night in my cool house that has absolutely nothing in it because I don't think any because I don't think anybody's on the server right now, so I should be able to sleep. But look at all the arrows I've got sticking out of me, and it's another glorious morning with some more shaders. A lot more shaders, the same amount of shaders, just still glorious. There used to be an enchanting setup somewhere, but I don't know where. Oh, maybe it's in here. No, it's just cool decoration. I'm here, but tell me what you guys think of the shaders in the comment section. Tell me if you like them, don't like them. Just tell me, tell me if they look cool. Tell me if you want me to turn it down a bit. I I can I can change the amount of shade that my shaders are doing. Okay, and 
And I can remember the other thing I want to do. I think it was um, the other thing I want to do. Uh, speed bridging MLG waters. I mean, I only did one MLG water, I guess. So. It was it was a good one, so I'm seeing this moving grass and thinking it's like a creeper or something. So I'm gonna go into the nether and I'm gonna grab some ender pearls, but I'm gonna go into the nether and go back to the main place where we live to try and go to the Enderman farm because I want to make a uh, great Sure, this ladder might lead above bedrock. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I'm guessing it does based on look at this. I don't know quite where. Oh, there it looks like that. It's not even broken, but I guess that's fine. I don't need it to be broken, I can just kind of jump through. Be the cool boy that I am with my under pearls. So I'm going to start heading over there. And I. We'll see you once I get there. Okay, we are now in the nether hub, the beautiful nether hub. And I just want to say this looks amazing with shaders. The nether looks amazing with shaders. But we're going to head over to the, um, head over to the stronghold and then to the enderman farm. Make a better crossbow. I know this video, I haven't really. This video, I haven't done a whole lot. Like, I've. I haven't started the project or done a build or anything, but I've just been. I mean, this is more what I would normally do if I was on the avocado recipe, like I am. But. buddy and in this video I also try to do some more talking because just I thought it'd be cool if I talked some more since usually in my videos you know there's not a whole lot of talking and I usually edit out a lot of my talking because I don't think it sounds good but I'm trying to be as real as possible in this one and just talk like I normally would, try and be chill. Another beautiful day. Bye buddy, see you later. Or not. I'm at the Ocean Monument, which is currently being drained by um, Yeti VT. It's looking pretty good. I mean, it is being drained slowly but surely. And I'm pretty sure. Try 
and find where the room is. I'm pretty sure it's through here. Yeah, that's nope, not right. Okay, that's the right spot. I don't know where my spawn is currently, so I'm just gonna set it here. And then when I come back through the portal, that's where I'll go. So we're in the nether. I'm gonna kill this enderman just to prove I can. Ha, got him. You know I'm just that big man. Agro's Enderman for fun. Oh, this guy doesn't want the smoke. You want the smoke? Oh, he died for my thorns. I mean my skills. He didn't die for my thorns. He died for my math skills. I got off the edge, buddy. Super cool. You can kill mobs all day long. I don't have like any food. I mean, I've got those 90 juicy golden apples, but I didn't know that was a thing. I'll save you, buddy. I'm gonna start drowning soon. I don't want him to drown. Okay, let's run over to the Enderman farm, and I'd like to get quick charge on this crossbow because I do like the crossbow more than a regular bow because you can have piercing and stuff, and I think that's cool. But someone's been here pretty recently, there's a lot of eyes on the ground. But grab some lapis, and I've got a sword with suit damage three. So I'm just gonna kill these endermen real quick. Get up to level 30. And then see if I have any good enchantments. Enderman farm. I'll say it again. I've said it before and I'll say it again. This is made by Yeti Wiki. Super cool. It's very helpful. You get to 30 levels in like a minute. So it's super nice. Thanks to him, if you're watching this, go subscribe to his channel, I'm pretty sure it's just YetiVT on YouTube, look it up, he's got some cool videos, also on the Avocado SMD, and some other things, I mean, he has one video where he plays Bedwars with me, so I mean, could it really be bad? XP is just pooling around me. Absolutely insane. So it's really nice. Try and enchant this crossbow first. I'm breaking three. That is like the worst. Quick charge two and breaking three. Piercing four. Okay, I'm gonna disenchant this other one and see. Wait, no, wrong one. Don't want to disenchant that one. Let's see which one I get. What? Quick charge one. Mm. Take another quick charge two. So you're saying no, definitely don't. Not definitely not gonna keep that. Breaking three. Another unbreaking three. So it's like the same unbreaking three in him, and I know that can happen. Like you get one unbreaking three, piercing four, and then maybe you'll get another one. It's like got the same other enchantments on it. Hope for that so we can get quick charge three. I mean, it might not be just unbreaking three. Wow, that's really bad. With this Enderman farm, I can literally like, kill these Endermen with pieces of bread. Level 
30 already just from that piece of bread. Okay, I'm breaking three. Wow. Piercing the three and breaking three. No, that is not what I want. Oh. I'm breaking three. What is this? How I can get so much in breaking three. I mean, maybe there's not many other enchantments for a crossbow. I don't know. I am not an ex. Just a breaking three. I am not an expert on enchanting in Minecraft. Quick charge two. Quick charge two. Okay, that's it. So we'll probably keep that because. Quick charge three is one of the main things so we can really charge the crossbow up quick and piercing four and breaking three. Okay, we are gonna combine those. Piercing 4 and breaking 3, quick charge 3, and then I am going to change it, please, subs, or how about my subscribers are cool, well I spelled subscribers, my subscribers are cool, so since my subscribers are cool, if you want to be cool you can simply click the subscribe button and boom you're pretty much cool I think it's a good idea but you don't have to if you don't want to it's, I mean maybe you're stupid or something but that's not the point but thanks to all the people who are subscribed my subscribers are cool, each and every one of them, and that's probably going to be pretty much, pretty much the end of this video. I didn't, I didn't do a whole lot in this video. I just was trying to talk a lot, do a lot of real time talk. Well, not real time, but real time for me, real time talking and. Just try and make some good content because I'm trying to keep up the content to make you guys happy. So, thank you so much for watching. It has been great. I will see you in the next episode. And, I mean, my subscribers are cool so subscribe or else